I wish to draw the attention of council members. Preventing sexual violence in conflict is our joint responsibility. It must be part of our work in many areas, from peacekeeping and political missions to medi med mediation, ceasefire agreement, security sector reform, justice sector reform, and the delivery of humanitarian assistance. The United Nations system is committed to delivering as one to end the culture of impunity that prevails in relation to uh, sexual violence. Rape, as a weapon of war, is an assault on security. And a world in which these crimes happen is one in which there is not and never will be peace. Addressing war zone, war zone sexual violence is therefore your responsibility, as well as the duty of governments in countries afflicted by it. In fact, the truth is, in many conflict situations, there is no government to take responsibility, so there is no protection and no accountability. When governments cannot act, the UN Security Council must step in and provide leadership and assistance. For these crimes happen not because they are inherent to war, but because the global climate allows it. Today, it is still largely cost-free to rape a woman, child, or man in conflict. Sexual violence has been used through the ages precisely because it is such a cheap and devastating weapon. But for the first time in history, we can reverse this reality. It will require leadership and political courage and a relentless determination to match the cold, calculating brutality of those who will rape the innocent for military or political gain. Even receive an apology through the process. 